There is a very deep, important message in the mitzvah of Meshloach Manas, which we're preparing to do now. And that is, as much as Purim is a day of Bittal, it's a day of connecting to Hashem, of nullifying ourselves before Hashem, and of recognizing that there is nothing that exists besides Hashem. And in all of the mitzvahs of the day, our goal is to just take this and internalize it deeper and deeper until it, it just has no choice. It explodes and just has to be expressed with action and with a meal and drinking and singing and dancing and, and wherever this takes us. But as much as this is a day of us and Hashem, Hashem says, that's not the way that I want you to live life. We're not here on this world to just live a quiet life of connection to Hashem. We need to channel that recognition of Enod Malvadei that there is nothing besides Hashem, to follow the ways of Hashem. And Hashem instructed us to do a whole lot. That is the fulfillment of the Torah, fulfillment of mitzvahs. Hashem says, don't sit in your little corner just connecting to me. Go out there and bring out, reveal my presence everywhere. Go and interact with the world and show the whole world how everything is really just an expression of godliness. And that's what we're doing with Mishloach Manas. We are, we're interacting with the world around us and we're giving to others. We're, we're letting this level of nullifying before Hashem lead us to do this mitzvah of Mishloach Manas. And part of that is that we're being a messenger to recognize the value of every child of Hashem. Every single Yid is a child of our father, is our brother and sister, and we don't want to forget about them. We don't want to allow our deep connection to Hashem to make us forget about the people around us. We want to remember them. Their happiness, their connection to Hashem is also important to us. And now we're going to send them some love. Now we're going to give them some food. And our thought while we're giving Mishloach Manas is um, it's not just about me and my connection to Hashem. I am a messenger from Hashem to reveal Him in this world and reveal His presence even among places where it is hidden. And now I'm doing an action to show that I care about my friend. His happiness is important to me. His ability to, f- to, do, to have a perm suit is important. That's why Mishlach Manus is giving items that can be eaten by a perm suda. That matters to me as well. And now I'm going to be a messenger of Hashem to spread that love. So Elliot, we're normally, as you said earlier, throwing bomba at each other. <laughs> <laughs> How can we make this act of throwing bomba at each other into something more meaningful? Uh, yeah, I've been throwing bomba and receiving bomba. And bomba's wonderful, but the, the beauty, you know, I said, I said this year to my wife that there's a there's certain family in this community that's my, there are my Mishloch Manot heroes. Uh, because they make food and they give out food that they made that people actually sit down and eat. And that's really what it's all about. So you feel the love that goes into the food that people are giving you. It's so deep and so special versus, wow, like it's so personal. They bought Bamba and gave me Bamba. You know, so I want to just take a minute as I'm preparing my Mishloch Manos, as I'm either buying it, preparing it, packaging it, delivering it is is a few intentions number one mishloach manos is the idea of being a messenger sending gifts and we're sometimes um, not only delivering them directly but having someone else deliver for us we're messengers we're delivering for others and so what's happening is this beautiful web in our communities where we're sending love to each other through food and what what could be more jewish than that And so I want to just take a minute right now and prepare myself to connect with what is behind this gift that I'm giving to you, which is the deepest message of Yiddishkeit. And it's the deepest message that we can internalize in everything that we do, which is the message of Hashem's love for us. And when when we recognize how much Hashem loves us, we recognize who we really are. We're the children of Hashem. And when we recognize this person that we're giving a gift to, that they are the children of Hashem, we're recognizing the depth and beauty in everybody around us and every human being and every Jew that we connect with, every family member, our spouse, and on the deepest level ourselves. And this really sets us up for an entire year 
of being our best selves, our happiest selves, our most loving selves, as we package our bittel, which is I'm nullifying my ego, I'm nullifying all of my personality traits that get in the way, and bringing out my essence, which is my soul, my neshama, and taking that into a package, all of the love that comes from that place, and with the intention right here, right now, to deliver that love from me to you in this gift.